John Reeves? Yeah? Um, hi, I'm a friend of your brother Paul's. I'd like to talk to you about him. Okay. Do you want a drink? No, thank you. So, you know Paul? Were you school friends or something? No, we met at work. Work? How long have you known him then? Not long. We only worked together a couple of times. What was the work? I can't imagine Paul doing anything really. Or was it bar work, an office job? Did he have sheep? No, I was his courier. John, I'm here because I need to find Paul. Find him? What for? He owes me money. He owed me money and he vanished. Do you know where he is? Paul owes you money? How much? What for? Paul never had much money in the first place. I can't imagine him throwing it around willingly. Well, he did, and some of it happens to be mine. How much does he owe you? Enough. The sum is not important. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. In fact, I haven't seen Paul in three, maybe four months. Not since my birthday. He only really surfaces at family gatherings. Rarely telephones. Not much of a stay in touch kind of man, you know? Yeah, I do. So you haven't seen him in months then? Mm hmm. Are you sure? Mm hmm. I spoke to Koresh. You remember him, landlord of the Half Moon? Well, he said that four days ago he saw you walk in with Paul. He said you bought a few beers and you sat in the corner and talked most of the night. Then the two of you left quietly. Is this true? Yes, it's true. Where is he now? I don't know. Like I said, he doesn't come by very often, so it was a surprise when he did. He turns up and says he wants to talk. Just a general catch-up, you know, so we go down to Koresh's and have a few drinks. He asks me about work, he asks me about girlfriends. And then at the end of the night, we come back here, he sleeps on the sofa, and in the morning he's gone. Yeah, no goodbye, nothing. He left without saying anything? That's what happened. You know, I'm not an idiot. I know you know where Paul is. He wouldn't have left without saying something about where he was going. If I know anything about Paul, it's that he's hardly discreet. I'm going to find out sooner or later. There are a lot of things in this kitchen that would do terrible things to a person. I wouldn't know about that, of course. But I have friends who do. These friends of mine used to be friends of Paul's, but their relationship went sour. And as I'm sure you can tell, he doesn't feel safe anymore. Not around them, not around anyone. And why should he? They're not very nice people. And why are you friends with them? They're useful. They're waiting just round the block. When they say a couple of rings and they'd be here. It wouldn't take them long to get Paul's whereabouts, with the right persuasion. John, I don't want my friends to do any damage that isn't necessary.